baby, you're in the wrong place. This is the house of God. The spirit of the Lord resides here. Can I get a witness here? Uh -huh. My father used to tell me that when you come into the house of the Lord, you need to bring your own fire. Ah, uh, if your fire is gone now, you're in the right place. If you're running empty in your tank, you're in the right place. But you need to know that you got to give God a praise. You got to give him a sacrifice of praise. your soul. Give me a hand. Uh -huh. and, and, and the devil is out to kill you. Uh -huh. uh, see, this, see, this tonight is, is for people that's been going through. I'm going to tell you right up front, this message ain't for everybody. This, this message this message is not for everybody. This this message is for those that have been struggling. Those that, let me say it like my cousin say, those that's been struggling. Uh -huh. Those that's been going through, those that, uh -huh. you, you, you don't receive a bad diagnosis from the doctor. You, you don't know where, where your ends are going to meet. This message is for you tonight. Tell your neighbor, this message is for you. 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 Well, what's the message, preacher? Just look them right in their pupils and tell them God came. God came. God, God came. God can what? I, I wish I had some sanctified people here that remember when you used to walk to church. Remember when you didn't have no air conditioning? Uh, but see, now we got air conditioning, we got GPSs in our cars, and, 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 and now, now we don't know how to act. But do you not know the same God that gave you the GPS can put you back on Tom and Jerry? Can I get away this in this place? Just lift your hands towards the Lord. Our Father, our God. We love, we love you. Now, God, now God put, your put your spirit in us. In, us. in, the, name in the name of Jesus. Lord, heal our bodies. Heal our Set, us Set us free. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Satan, Satan, the Lord, the Lord rebuke, you. rebuke you. The blood, the blood of, Jesus of Jesus is against you. Loose your hope right now. Loose my praise. Loose my hallelujah. Loose my thank you, Jesus. God has been good to me. Thou 
27th verse. And he said, and he answered and said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. Mm. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. Say, thou shalt live. Thou shalt live. But he willingly justified himself. Said unto Jesus, and who is my neighbor? And Jesus answered and said, and a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. And fell among thieves, say thieves. Which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him. Some of you wounded tonight. And departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Say other side. Other side. Mm. Yeah. The priest came by and passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. <laughs> but a certain Samaritan, uh, say Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. <laughs> and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his beast, on his own beast, yeah. and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Yeah. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him. <laughs> and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Yes. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he answered and said, He that showeth mercy on him. Uh -huh. Then says Jesus unto him, Go and do likewise. As you go to your seats and those of you uh, that's been struggling for the last couple of months, uh, just look at that neighbor and say, neighbor, yeah. my help. Uh, if you really feel it in your big toe, just say, my help. Uh -huh. if, you, if you feel the, the, the anointing, say, say, my help. Eternal life tonight. Uh -huh. you, you mind if I just take my time? 
Uh -huh. And here we find ourselves in the middle of a suffering story. Uh, somebody asked the question, why do I have to suffer? Well, I'll tell your neighbor, you're the right one. See, you know how to suffer. You know how to go through. Can I get a witness here? While others are giving up on God, you're making outrageous claims like, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. See, the text says in verse 30, a certain man went down from Jericho, from Jerusalem to Jericho. Right. Tell your neighbor, it had to be you. Yeah. You got to go through what you're going through. That God might get the glory. Right. Can I get a witness here? Right. Verse 30 also says that he fell amongst thieves and was stripped. He was wounded and left for dead. Anybody else been wounded in here? You may not been wounded physically, but somebody told you something you ain't want to hear. Can I get a witness here? Somebody tried to destroy your reputation. Oh, I wish I was in a church of real people. Y'all act like hey, everything's fine, Pastor. I got money in the bank, and my body is like I wanted to be. Uh huh. But how many of you know the devil is a liar? Uh huh. You just took some medicine before you came here. Can I get a witness? Here. You waiting to get home so you can take your diabetes medicine. Uh -huh. But I want to let you know there's a man named Jesus. And Isaiah testified that by his stripes we are healed. But since you were wounded, say since you were wounded. Uh -huh. Just tell your neighbor, I didn't ask for this. But I will make the best of this. Let me say that one more time. I didn't ask for this. But I will make the best of this. Uh -huh. You didn't ask to be wounded. Right. You didn't ask to lose your job. You didn't ask to have your car repossessed. Can I get a witness here? Uh -huh. But see, wow, all hell was breaking loose in your life. You kept making outrageous claims. Like for his anger endureth but for a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure but for a night. But sure. In the moment, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh -huh. Comment in the moment. Uh -huh. Tell your neighbor, see the mistake was the devil let me live. Just wait, your help is on the way. See, the text says a certain priest passed by on the other side. A Levite came and looked at the situation. He took notes and still passed by on the other side. I wish I could get some help here. I learned that those that say that they can't help you sometimes can't. Can I get a witness here? Those that say they can open up a door for you sometimes can't open up their own door. Can I testify just for a little bit? One night I was running from the church. I had two individuals in the back seat with me. We was getting ready to go get something to eat. And all of a sudden that, that, that beautiful voice said, hey Sam, you know, I'm getting ready to do my next project. Mm -hmm. Can you write a song for me? I almost had a wreck. I said, oh my God. I didn't send a tape. Y'all watch this. I'm going to tell the truth. I didn't oh, write a check. No, it was the favor of God. That Beverly Crawford and Todd Crawford asked this little old boy named Sam Butts from 636 House Street, Butts Manfred Temple, if he could write a song for her next project. That was 2004. Now, let me give you another testimony. You need to understand because I was just coming off a of heart surgery. Uh -huh. Yes, 2002, I had a triple bypass. Look at that. Uh -huh. 2002, my whole life was turned upside down. Uh -huh. I was a recording engineer for Bethune Cumming University. Uh, worked there 10 years. Uh, but God said, you got to go through this surgery. Uh, and I say, God, if I got to go through, I want to spend some time with you. Because uh, this is the closest I'm going to be to you this side of heaven. Uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, anybody else in here that had an out-of-body experience? Uh, Anybody else in here that looked in the face of death and said, Death, you can't touch me because Jesus had already took the stain out of you. And just when I thought I was down, just when I thought I was forgotten about, just when I thought I'd helped everybody else and they left me by the side of the road, God sent somebody named Beverly Crawford and said, Sam, will you write a song? And I wrote that song. Can I get a witness here? Let me just tell the truth.
truth, it was already in the library. It was already in the library of songs that God had given me. But preparation meant opportunity. And when preparation meant opportunity, oh, tell your neighbor, don't be jealous. It might be your turn next year. Don't be jealous. See, see that's why God ain't gonna bless some of y'all, because y'all won't praise God for what God is already doing for somebody else. anything that was dead. The priest could not even touch the mother if they were dead. Could not touch the father if they was dead. Can I get a witness here? Tell your neighbor, keep your hands off of dead things. Oh my God, some of you right now, you're running after dead things. Some of you right now are hanging on to dead folk. Do you not know that when people die, sooner or later they start to rot? Sooner or later, they start to smell. Huh? Can I get a witness? Sooner or later, maggots just start taking over. Huh? Can I get a witness? But do you not know what happened to you when you put your hand in maggots? My Lord, my Lord, Jesus. Go ahead, precious. Jesus. Tell your name, if you let them stay there long enough, they'll eat you too. Uh -huh. But help. Uh, is on the way. Uh, Jesus said, oh, I thank God. Uh, Jesus said in Matthew 25 and 40, and the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, inasmuch as you have done it unto the least one of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Uh, oh, I thank God for the new covenant. Can I get a witness here? I thank God for the new covenant. Uh -huh. But I concern tonight, Pastor, uh, because there are some people in here that could be helping other folk, but they won't help them. Uh, not because they, they can't. Uh, not because they don't have the money in the bank, uh, but they just won't. Uh, well, First John 3 and 17 says it like this. Uh, but whosoever has the world's goods uh, and seeth his brother have need uh, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion uh, from him, uh, he, how dwelleth the love of God in you? Uh, oh, come on, saints. Uh -huh. You may not, oh, can I come into your living room just a little bit? Uh -huh. You may not be my husband. Mm -hmm. You, I may not be your wife. Uh -huh. You may not be my mother. Mm -hmm. I may not be your son. Uh -huh. But you see me struggling with the cares of life. Uh -huh. I might even have some kids that are not yours. <laughs> I may have gotten myself into some situations I should not have had. Come on, uh, but come on, help a brother out. Uh, help a sister out. Uh, you say you know Jesus. Uh, oh, you say you know him. Uh, you say you got him on the inside. Uh, but you ain't done nothing for me. Uh, oh, God say you say you love me. Uh, but you didn't say nothing to the crack deal on the corner. Uh, God say you say you love me. Uh, but you didn't try to feed the homeless man. Uh, God say you say you love me. Uh, but when is the last time you went to the prison? Uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, oh, but that's all right. Uh, tell your neighbor that's all right. Uh, God is sending, sending me somebody uh, that's not so heavenly minded. Uh, they are no earthly good. Uh, uh, here in the 33rd verse. Uh, the, but a certain Samaritan. Uh, tell your neighbor it had to be the right one. Uh, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. <laughs> See, ladies, can I be with the ladies? <laughs> See, ladies, mm -hmm. if your man don't cry, 
He don't have compassion. Can I get a witness here? <laughs> if your man don't show emotion, <laughs> baby, you got the wrong one. <laughs> Can I deal with the men now, Pastor? <laughs> uh, men, if your woman, <laughs> your lady, can I use the old school term, your old lady? <laughs> if your old lady <laughs> always looking at you with a straight face, <laughs> baby, don't go to sleep. <laughs> Can I get a witness here? <laughs> because they don't have compassion. You need somebody <laughs> that's going to have some compassion. <laughs> Can I get a witness here? <laughs> oh, come here, Brother Tony. What Brother Tony here? <laughs> come here, Brother Tony. Run, 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 run. Come here, come here. Help, help the pastor preach tonight. <laughs> Your brother Tony, just stand right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I hate to take the camera girl off the camera. <laughs> but come in, Sister Shaki, real quick. Real quick. Come on, real quick. <laughs> I need a sheet. Anybody got a sheet? I need a sheet, real quick. Uh -huh. I need a sheet because you need to see compassion. Uh -huh. Tell your neighbor, I'm waiting on compassion. I'm waiting on compassion. You need to see some compassion. Uh, because a certain Samaritan came by. Uh, as he journeyed, came where he was. Uh, and when he saw the man laying down, is, is that real big? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I need some big. Uh -huh. I, I, I need a big one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. Let me show you something here. Uh -huh. Come here, sister. Just, just lay down that book. You got it. You got it. Pastor got you. Yes, yes. He was beaten. You, you can just go sleep. He was beaten. He was bruised. He was wounded. He was half dead. But God. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Sent a Samaritan. Jesus. See this Samaritan. Let me get some background on Samaritan. See this Samaritan was a was a half breed people, yeah. uh, and, and, and they 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 were known because uh, they they would worship God for a little bit, and then they would try to bring in other like Greek cultures and yeah. Eastern cultures into that into the religion of God. Uh, so people didn't they didn't have no trust in it, <laughs> but. I don't care if you didn't have no trust in me. I got enough trust in God that to know that He's able to supply my yes. But when this Jew, because he was coming from Jerusalem going down to Jericho, when this Jew was walking along the pebble road, got beat up by some thieves. Not only were they beat up, but they stripped him and, and then they wounded him. See, sometimes the devil will wound you. So oh, he'll wound you. So you'll say in your mind, I don't even want to go to church. He'll wound you. So you'll say in your mind, I don't even want to pray. He'll wound you to make you say nobody loves me. But tell your neighbor, it's just a wound. Uh-huh, because God is getting ready to send a Samaritan. Tell a good Samaritan. Not just any Samaritan, but the text said a certain Samaritan. In other words, that denotes to me that God is sending specifically what you need. God. The text said that Samaritan came, got off of his horse, uh, kneel down there, Brother Tony. Kneel down. Uh, assess the situation. Uh, then the Samaritan. Uh, oh my God. Uh, is this what I think it is? Uh, oh. Then the Samaritan uh, came uh, and put all on the wound. Uh, put all on the wound. And then not only did he put all on the wound. Uh -huh. It said, and he wrapped him up. Uh, he wrapped him up. Uh, saints, God uh, will wrap you up in such a way that when the devil come back to get you, uh, he won't even recognize you. Uh, can I get a witness? He won't leave you down. No. The text said he picked up. Just, 
Come on now. <coughs> Pick him up. Yeah. Just no, literally. Yeah. Put your hands up. <laughs> Say he picked up. <laughs> oh Jesus. Picked it up. Yes. Set it on his beast. Uh -huh. yes. Ladies, let me tell you something. When God sent you something.
his anointing. And when it starts to rain, it's going to rain on you. People don't ask the question where did that favor come from? All I want you to tell them is that my help came from God. You're so 